And these are very, very serious allegations, about a 1,000 cases involving up to 200 deaths. Presumably, they're allegations you refute very strongly. Well, I think we all have to remember that it's very easy to make allegations. It's quite a different matter to investigate them and to prove that those allegations have got substance. I think as far as the army's record is concerned in Iraq and Afghanistan and, and elsewhere in the past and I think in the future, where there are allegations, we take them seriously and we investigate. And when there is substance, we bring people to due process. And we've seen that with the small number of cases that have, been, have come to light uh, with regard to Iraq in the past. The Baha Musa case was the most obvious one, where a man died most shamefully in our custody, and it led to a court-martial. But I think these allegations, they're so widespread, there's so many of them, that, um, if I'm absolutely honest, I, I question the motivation slightly of those behind these and, and really what they're trying to do. There are so many allegations here that I think they're going to find it very hard to substantiate them, and I think this is a very sad episode. Mm. But do you think, I mean, it would be a huge embarrassment, wouldn't it, if for the UK if they end up before the International Criminal Court? Uh, you say you, you question some of the motivation perhaps behind the allegations, but if it does end up before the ICC, it just doesn't look good for the UK. Well, of course it doesn't look good for the UK. Um, it would look far worse for the UK if a substantial number of these allegations were substantiated and found to be true. But, well, you can call me um, guilty of wishful thinking, if you like, but I know the British Army and British soldiers pretty well. This is not a common characteristic of them. Yes, you will occasionally get people who do the wrong thing, and where those allegations are made, and we investigate and we find that wrong things have been done, we put due process against those people. But um, to suggest that this was a systemic, widespread, uh, almost a matter of policy, I find that very hard to understand, very hard to accept, and I would be very, very surprised if a case held up in somewhere like the ICC. Mm. And presumably one of the allegations uh, you can uh, kick out right now, the, uh, the allegations contained within the, the numbers there, that uh, knowledge of this system, as the allegation is, uh, went right to the top. You were at the top for a while. Well, indeed. Um, it didn't go right to the top. I'm not even terribly sure, from what I've said already, that these things actually took place. It is very easy to make allegations. It's a very different thing to investigate and substantiate them. The suggestion that I've read in The Independent this morning, that uh, the Secretary of State, the Minister of State for the Armed Forces, um, a senior general, are all knew of these things or could have been expected to know of these things. I mean, that's an amazing set of allegations to make. And, as I say, I don't think that they will be substantiable, they will be provable. Um, yes, there will be the odd individual case, and where that, they, where that case is discovered, then due process will be applied to those people. That's what we always do, and that's the right thing to do. Mm. And are you satisfied, then, that within the UK itself we are investigating any allegations thoroughly enough and, and speedily enough? The Foreign Secretary pointed out the Iraq Historic Abuse uh, Tribunal, but that's not reporting till 2016. Well, uh, the Chilcot inquiry isn't reporting in a great rush of uh, speed either. Um, I think these things do take too long, but um, in the case of these uh, allegations of brutality and wrongdoing, uh, they've only just been made now in this dossier that's gone to the ICC, so they must be investigated and looked at. Um, as I've said several times this morning, it's one thing to make allegations, it's quite another thing to be able to prove them. And Again, I say it, I, maybe I'm guilty of wishful thinking, but I don't believe it's in the character of the British soldier, I don't think it's in the character of the British people to engage in widespread brutality of this nature. Um, I think it's, uh, it's a most unfortunate set of allegations, and let's wait and see uh, how this plays out. But I'm fairly optimistic, I'm very optimistic, that these allegations will not be proven.